it's still it's still lightly uh, raining, uh, very very light, uh, very cloudy above him, uh, above uh, in the sky. But you managed to make your way into the inn. Uh, it's a very narrow alleyway that you guys are in, but the door is uh, at like a corner, so you're able to single finally go inside. Go in. The the inn. Didn't we didn't we long rest? <laughs> oh, did you uh, did you guys agree on that? I can't remember from last oh, time. Yeah, or... like we just went we went in and we long rest. And we we're gonna make plans in the morning or something. Okay. Nope. Or what, is it is it because it falls tomorrow night, right? Yes. So I I just couldn't remember if you guys did if you guys did long rest. That's fine. Yeah. Um. During your rest, I need you guys to make a wisdom saving throw. Have advantage on those. All I right. think you had us do this at the end of the last campaign. Did I? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know what it was though. Oh. Thank goodness for advantage. There we go. It's a natural twenty. For me, natural yeah, 20. it was. Natural this twenty for me too. Unnatural is twenty. A, um, is this a magical effect? Technically, no. It's it's magical in nature, but it's not a magical it's, effect. So it's, just, it's, just, it's just I have advantage on wisdom saving throws against magic. Hmm. So if it's if it's I, magic in origin, it's supposed to. I'll, I'll say sure. Uh, I kind of imply that spells, but you can go ahead and get advantage on that. That's fine. I it's a well, weird connotation. With my advantage, I had a 2 and then a natural 20. <laughs> nice. With my advantage, I had a 9 and then a 17 <clears throat> plus... Uh... I've actually had my saving throws wrong this entire time. Thanks to D&D Beyond. I yeah. forgot that a ring of protection gives you plus 1 to saving throws. So... Um... Yes. Oh! I'm proficient in wisdom saving throws, so I have a plus six. So t I don't know if I even needed the advantage. It would have been 15 the first time, but now it's uh, 23. Nice. 27 for me total. Nice. Uh, did you get your score in? 20. 20? Okay, so including Avers, everyone seems to uh, have a decent rest, managed to sleep through the night. Um, get my did you do? Yeah, today. you used to these are, be, these are big ones for today. A nine. I had a nine last time that I didn't use. And an eight. I had a nine and a six. Nine and eight. Nice. Is it? Eh, never mind. I don't really... Oh, is there a couple hours for me to work before I go to bed on my other wand for my wand of Unseen Servant? Uh, I. Mm, yeah, don't worry about sleep, it. I'm not. I'm not gonna get it finish. Then. Don't worry about it. I was gonna say because nope. you guys did get home pretty late just because yep. you're out late, but so you guys wake up at normal time, which was about six a.m. Um, and you guys head uh, back down from your rooms. Uh, uh, Fastnow actually introduces you to. Uh, the um, other worker at the inn. Uh, his, it's his wife. He, her name is Katie. Um, you can see she has like a, she's a dwarfish as well. She has fairly large glasses uh, and her hair is kind of pulled into a ponytail. Um, she's, uh, he says, um, did you guys have any other plans you guys need to make for this? Uh, this now would be the time to do it. I know the general layout of the castle. Do you have access to weapons and supplies here? Uh, we don't have enchanted if that's what you're looking for. We have decent, we have breathe weapons, but no, no. There's a pretty strict regulation on those sort of things now, so. Any, no, uh, so no potions or anything, right? I think I can muster a couple potions for you. Um, 
And when they have healing, he uh, he goes into the back and retrieves um, two greater and two minor. Oh. Um. Now would be the time to use them. So. Let me see what I got for potions. I have three greater. Okay, D and D beyond. You should organize this better. Uh, and two minor. Does anyone need, how many potions? Anyone need potions? I've got one of each. Yeah, just one? Yeah. I actually don't Think... know what Avis has. I have two great healing and two mining, and so I'm good. Oh, no, I'm good. What's Corey? Good. I have... Corey, what do you got? I have four of each. All right. You take it all, <laughs> take it all, Ergius. How many is that? So that's two of each, so you'll be at three of three. Okay. I bought a bunch, I just haven't had too much opportunity to use them. I'm gonna... Oh, do you so guys I ever just... use... Oh, yeah, potions, you guys don't have any too. Um, what's his name, Fazna? Mm -hmm. Uh, what about this? And I, uh, I gesture to Drostan. Is That's gonna stand out a little bit, isn't it, at a, at a ball like this? Yes. Unless you have some way to conceal him. Do we have any way of concealing him? I got I got invisibility. But as soon as he attacks that goes, doesn't it? Correct. But at the point if you're using him to attack something, at that point, you know, the jig is up. Mm. I mean I'll leave it up to you guys. I can either have him invisible or leave him here. Does does Drawstan's blink count as attacking as casting a spell? Uh, I don't know. That's, that's I know a it's question. All right. Yeah. I know it's a free action. Blink. Uh, it's so I. It's so part it, of his. I would say it's not a spell. Okay, so it won't because invisibility right breaks when a target attacks or casts a spell. So for Dr if Drawstan wants to use that is blink, just movement. Okay, cool. That makes it much more useful because you can still blink around invisible. Can he open doors with his mouth for us? Uh... Give him an ass <laughs> too. <laughs> I want it on the. It's a dog. Or a creature. Well, so. Me and uh, Ergius can't go into this ball. We're too short. I mean, I got a mask and everything in case I need it, but I think I'm gonna have to go in invisible. Do you want me to take Ergius? How do you how do you plan to get in? Oh, we do have these rings to talk to each other. All right. You mean wait outside and then go in if we're needed? What? If, I don't know if there's a, like a way I could. Maybe dimension door in. To keep track of how many paces. I don't know if that would be a good measurement. Well, we because we do have those rings, so if if things go bad, Corian or, um, uh, you know, somebody else, Tarnum could yell for us. Yeah. Would it be better to wait? He says, "I, I or Fesnar says, I can show you the layout of the castle if that helps you plan better." Yeah. All right. I'm also going to change into smart clothes as soon as this is going to be a ball. <laughs> I think well, we do have fancy clothes, don't we? Yes, he does have fancy clothes. I I have fancy clothes. Ask it. I don't know. I don't think I ever bought smart clothes. Well, we know. used them at the uh, smart. after uh, the king held that ball for us. Or fair, not a ball, fair. I had a uh, small cluster before that. Yeah. If you guys want, I can use pressed imagination to dry clean them for you. Get them all pressed and nice. Apparently, I have three sets of costumes from, I guess. That's a bard thing, I think. Yeah. One of the starting things. So, do we. Do we need invitations for this thing? C 
can we go in with our weapons and armor? He says uh, weapons and armor are not usually brought in, um, but invitations you would not need. As long as you have masks, you're good. Oh, and good clothing. Well, not usually. There's quite a few people there, so you need, as long as you blend in, they don't keep track. Not usually doesn't mean no. You guys could just take the bag of holding with you. Right. That's why I was wondering how this ball thing worked out. There's a ladder. So is this held inside <laughs> the castle? Apparently. He said or is yes. it outside? I thought it was outside in the courtyard area. That's what I was assuming. He says no, they have a uh, they actually have a special room for this. Okay, so like a, a ballroom or something like that, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. Um, where's where's she gonna be at? She will be in the room with everyone else until the gown change. Okay, and what happens then? She isolates herself in her master bedroom. Okay. And does she ever do any speeches or anything, you know, to everyone? Stands up on a stage? I've never been inside, so I wouldn't know. I would assume so. Because if she just stands up somewhere, then, you know... Wait, wait, wait. wait. She, she goes into her master bedroom to change? Yes, during the gown change of the celebration, she does. We could just get into a room and just wait for her in there and then pounce. She isn't going to be in there on her own. There'll be at least one guard escorted her to the door. You would have thought. One's better than an entire room full of people. That, that That's is what I'm saying. True. Because then we can all just pile in there. Although, honestly, how many people are going to get involved anyways, regardless where we do this? Well, most of the guards are going to be in probably the main ball area, keeping tabs and everything, unless we want to make a spectacle out of this. If somebody wants to remain invisible, they could go and be invisible at the board and then whisper over the ring when she's coming. That might be helpful. Yeah, I mean, it only lasts for an hour, so I have to keep recasting it. That's the only thing with invisibility. Mm -hmm. I see. It's only it's a it's a more minor spell, but is this person we're trying to assassinate trained? Are they combat proficient? I guess. Well, she's the one respond. She's like, you gave us backstory, I think, a month ago on these two on the people. Can you tell us a little bit more again about the king and queen? Uh, them. Let me actually get my sheet out. Because if the if they're um... just. She, uh, from what uh, Fasnar told you, um, she is a magic practitioner. He doesn't know exactly what kind. Um, All right. But she is considered the most deadly of them. Um, uh, Vincent is uh, some kind of weapon wielder. Uh, he has a two-bladed scythe on his back. Um, um, so if we if we give her the jump in the room, she's just going to cast whole person or something like that immediately. Yeah, and all six of us or five of us. Well, he's coming too, right? Or hmm? dwarf guy, he's coming with us, right? He says, "Uh, uh yes, I will be uh, with you." I'm uh, because I'm a dwarf. I was thinking of keep staying on the outside perimeter, unless you guys want me on the inside. Um, I could make an escape for you guys if you um, take her out in her room. I could make an exit would, for you guys. That would be good. Okay. Could well, let's some kind of diversion or something. Well, I mean, we could just go with a direct approach, go into the ball, and then just you know. Why? Why do we have to wait till the ball? Why can't we sneak around now and do it now? She is not isolated. In any sense, she's always on with guards around her. Well, she's going to be with guards around her tonight, even more so. They're going to be on red alert tonight. Yeah. 
What about uh, Vincent? Yeah, what's he doing at this time of day? No, I mean, like, does he change his clothes during the ball? He does not. Um, I wasn't exactly sure how we're going to take him out at the moment, but my first, oh, my biggest priority was her. And what about their elite guards? I think there's six elite orcs. Yes, he did see six. Is the real reason you want to do this at the ball to make a statement? Or is it, for, as you say, the best chance? Because I'm beginning to think you're trying to make a statement in front of everyone. You can see, you can see as she looks pretty serious right now uh i'm sure he's serious about it i'm, I'm trying to understand if he he, he says this is statement. this is the best opportunity um i mean the only advantage i you. see is being able to walk through the front door but as somebody who doesn't normally like to walk through the front door anyway this comes with a high element of risk <laughs> Um, I want I want Hanok to be the one to kill her in the dining room with the wand. <laughs> I just don't understand why we couldn't sneak up there now and do it. I don't. Will her orc? Will the elite orc guards be at this ball? As far as I know, yes. Mm. I think the best time to get her is actually during the changing. It isolates her from her guards and her husband. Then we pounce on her, take her down. She's a caster, right? So she should go down pretty easy and be squishy, and that list leaves us with a bunch of, you know, sword and shield guys. Which, if we plan the escape properly, we might not even have to fight. Well, I think, I mean, we don't want him staying in power. We got to clear, no, but... clear out the entire leadership. Yeah, but getting rid of her is the first step to that. You don't want to bite off more than you can chew. Well, we got the element of surprise. If we, if we kill her... And she They're going to know her, pretty right? damn quickly. Uh, what if I, I think that if I... she'll be changing on her own, but there will be a guard take her to her room, and as yeah, soon as she be sees playing those... music, in... dancing, that's the perfect cover for us to muffle an attack on her. And then we She's storm. gonna scream the moment she walks in the room. The guard isn't have suddenly just gonna walk away. I mean we have ways to stop screaming. I hip, I can hypnotize her, I can hold her, I can hold her, then hypnotize her. I can we we've got at most a few seconds to completely dispatch her before the guards stop being alerted. Listen, you get Corian within sword range of somebody who just casts that doesn't wear proper armor. I'm not worried about taking her down. That's not the issue. I, I think we'll do that just fine, but it's important to realize that when we do that, there will be an element of surprise on her, but the guards will know that right. something has happened. I feel like she'll be guarded more during the day. Like There'll probably be more guards. There'll be more patrols. There'll be even less of an element of surprise. And then, you know, if we plan our escape correctly... I would think she would be more heavily guarded at a ball where there are outsiders yeah. than right well, I mean, now. Well, at the ball, but probably not in her room is what I'm thinking. Is there a window into this room? I'm assuming there is, right? Into the, the master bedroom? Yeah. Yeah, there is a um, there is one on the, on the back side. I was thinking if there was an escape, uh, that would probably be the best way out. I'm wondering, should we have somebody keeping an eye on... If we make an escape, we've killed her, we make an escape, the guards are going to spread out all over the city trying to find people. If we could have somebody who has eyes on Vincent for the remainder of the time, who has a ring, could let us know where he is. He's not likely going to have his entire army with him if they're spreading over the city looking for people. Was... Is your army in place, actually, to j pounce in when she's dead? 
Um, I don't know if I could take, or I don't know if we could take all those orcs. Yeah. I mean, the, there are quite a few of them, as, you, as you've seen just on the wall itself. Um, my army's pretty strong, but mm. all of them fighting all those orcs that are inside the castle, I don't know if we'd be able to do that. I think this has to be a multi-wave operation. I don't think we could just take him with all his guards after we've killed her. I think we need to get them to spread out throughout the city looking for us and then pounce on him. Well, are we see so, I mean, no, no, was it was saying no plan survives contact with the enemy? I mean, so are we saying our best bet is to go in her room and kill her and then make that decision right there whether we jump out the window or continue to fight? Yeah, uh, Fessor says it's up to you guys whether you, I mean, she might have something in her room too. You if you have time to investigate. Oh, it'll be trapped. I guarantee it'll be trapped. Well, we got things to detect that. I mean, you're good at detecting traps. I'm good at detecting magic. Yeah. Would Vincent still be at the ball while she was changing? I would assume so. I could provide some sort of distraction in the ball while you guys were doing whatever, killing her in the master bedroom. Wouldn't you be noticed, though, because you're small? Do you think they'd... Well, I could maybe... Uh, could I major image myself to be, like, two feet taller? Something? I, think, I think major image is stationary, if I recall. I can make it move if I... No, it's not a silent image. You probably could, yeah. If it... yeah major image is sight, smell, everything. That's, like, uh, a high-quality image spell. Yeah, you could, um, you can cast out, I guess, on the space above you and make it look yeah. like you're higher than you are. Like it projects. Well, I guess you'd have, you'd, have, you'd have to do it on your entire body because then you'd have, like, two arms and two legs. <laughs> I have to, like, hide part of myself and move I'm it up. I'm going to need a BRB for a minute. Something happened here I got to take care of. Uh, okay. You guys just decide. I'll go with whatever you guys decide. Okay. I can take find some way to get in if they're expecting some entertainment. Or... Well, you could... You could keep an eye on wherever Vincent's at then and let yeah, us know. If, he, if he's still at the ball and while you guys are over here, I could I could uh, start a distraction. What, what are you thinking, Corian? Do you think we should take it all at once or get the guards to spread out throughout the city and then come back for him? Um, well, I mean, they've only got six elites and him and her. pretty sure I can kill that, so. Ava says, the problem is that we don't exactly, I mean, we, we've been able to handle a lot, but we're not exactly sure how powerful they are, because we haven't seen the capabilities. Uh, the problem is going to be once we take her, there's hundreds of orcs in this city. And it doesn't yeah. sound like they're prepared to fight against them. There's only really two ways up there. It's the main stairway, which they probably would have blocked off, maybe. If they're only having the ballroom used. Oh, sorry, I did forget one. There was a third staircase. Oh. Uh, he says there was another one in the stage in the statue room. Is this the circles? Yep. I think Fasnar's army is going to be best suited to fighting the grunt orcs in the street when they start spreading out looking for those who've done the assassination. So, what is your plan, Fasnar, once we take out the leadership? Like you said, you aren't prepared to fight against all the orcs that are here. She's one of the main leaders of all of them. I figured if she falls, they'd be much more disorganized. They don't... I mean, they 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 follow Vincent's orders as well, but um, she's the one that organizes the entire thing. Um, you said they'd run away without Alina? Either that or they wouldn't listen to Vincent. Possible they would turn on him too. Well, aren't the elites Vincent's? The elites are, yes. 
them all, won't they follow the elites? Where are these elite guards during the day? What do they do? I'm not sure how the or or I'm not sure how orcs behave very well. Uh, the elites, uh, they usually are, as far as I know, they're found uh, mostly at the castle. A couple of them um, follow uh, the king and queen wherever they go. Uh, they almost never exit the castle. Um, Does the king never leave? A very either? paranoid person. Uh, the king, I haven't ever seen him, I mean, besides like executions in the, in the public, which are right. very rare themselves. Okay. How difficult would it be to get into the second floor of the castle from the outside right now? From the outside? Well, there are orcs there. There are orcs that are patrolling, not just in front of the castle, but they also have some around. Uh, I mean, if you're quiet, I'm not sure what. I've never uh, infiltrated the castle, castle itself. I've only seen it from the outside. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. They have windows that are accessible, but. How did you get all the information about what the inside of the castle looks like then? Peering inside. <laughs> I so, mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stealthy. I can, you can look pretty easily. It's just so this is just a guesstimation of the inside. From my knowledge, yeah. How and did, I've, not, it's not just I've observed it once and how just did you, memorized it. How did you get on the castle grounds to be able to, like, how? Is it possible for us to get on the castle grounds now? Maybe. Uh, I was able to get in because, uh, well, I'm, I'm small. Uh, I'm stealthy. I'm not sure your guys' capabilities. I don't okay. know your capabilities is possible, but you'd have to constantly watch your back. Can I insight check him to see if he's not trying to play us to put him in front of these people here? Sure. I'm going to answer. trust him. I'm going to trust him less. Oh no, that's a six. I know nothing. <laughs> six. I feel like uh, I feel like he's yeah. trying to turn I mean, us over. I think you have trust issues with dwarves to begin with. I don't know how exactly how you feel. <laughs> he doesn't. From what you can tell, he doesn't seem to be. He knows an awful but... lot about this castle to say he's never been inside. He sounds extremely unprepared for wanting to assassinate the queen immediately to me. Also, remember this is a pretty bad drawing because I'm not good at drawing. How many ways are there into the castle? Just describe for me what it looks like, like in the city. If you were to come, well, it's it's up on a um, on like a hill, so you have to climb up to it this, uh, from this main staircase here. Any sewer outlet that leads to it? There are a couple, uh, but they, from my knowledge, they can't, they don't actually don't actually lead you into the building. You can just access it from the outside. All right. But outside, not having to climb the hill, outside not, is the castle have a wall around it? Or is it, it just, is not, no. it's just on the hill? Yeah, just on the hill. But it would get us closer without having to climb said hill. Mm -hmm. Would we just have to go through patrols in the sewers? The, the, the northern half of the city in the sewers is much more guarded. Um, but it is, I mean, it, it, you could still access it. Because even if we go to the ball as guests and we avoid all the trolls, there's no way we're going to get to her room without being noticed somehow. Right. Maybe through a statue room. Just but, but that is if the stairways aren't guarded. I 
don't know if Avers has anything. I mean, he has silence. Let me see. Silence is amazing for fights, <laughs> but. <laughs> uh... I get I get where Corey is coming from. You want us in place ahead of time, don't you, so that we're not having to try and sneak through the ball. Uh. I don't. I don't necessarily mind sneaking in through the ball. I just want to know if it was possible to just go now. And skip the ball altogether uh, because it sounds like they have something I planned, don't know what they... and I'd like them dead before they can do whatever it is they have planned. Because uh, I would think they would be on higher guard with not castle staff inside the castle. No, yeah, I agree. Than they are. Although right now is probably a bunch of not castle staff in the castle preparing for the ball. Would it be possible for us to waylay some workers and go in that way? That's a good idea. We'll take the clothing in that and pass off as... Do they have halfling workers? Like, yes, they... they would. Because I bet they, they do. They use short people slaves. <laughs> short people slaves. Yeah, I mean, this entire city is full of dwarves, which right? is sure. Because then we said dwarves, gnomes, and halflings are slaves. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. What what would you call them Could. as a group? <laughs> These are like these guys. Yeah. And I probably wouldn't have to take out one of the other workers. I could just walk in these guys, maybe. What about the rest of us? Could we all look like that? Maybe we could go as um, a delivery for the kitchen. Mmm, I like that. What are they ordering? That gives me an idea. What if, what if we poison her? <laughs> I've got uh, poison. poison. I do. I have poison. You have to make sure that only she would eat it. I don't care about anybody else. Who else is going to be eating from it? A husband, maybe? That'd be even better. They probably have tasters or... Like other <laughs> healers, if, if they do get poisoned. They have, like, candidates on hand or something. Oh, well, yeah, she's a caster, right? So she's probably immune to poison. It was a thought, okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a bad thought, just, I mean, it's very tricky to. Right. If we'd have done this the day before, you could, like, just poison their pillows or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> poison her gown. Oh, yeah, poison her gown, yeah. See, that would work, too. <laughs> Why is my dress dripping wet? <laughs> uh... Didn't they almost kill the uh, Queen of England that way once? <laughs> this no, crown is fine. Oopsies. Unless I'm misremembering that, I, I thought like the original uh, Queen Elizabeth almost died to a poison dress. <laughs> That's the way to go. I do, I do agree with Corey, and though we could sneak in as a staff for this. That's probably going to be way better. Because that will get us in past all the guards during or before the ball. And she's probably going to be like, what, flanked by maybe two elites perhaps when she's wandering around and that's probably going to be about it. Uh, that's why I says that, I mean, that would get you pretty much full access to the castle. And we wouldn't look at their, place. their outfits. I mean, orcs wouldn't question you if you went to other rooms. Do they have living quarters near the castle? Or is it in the city where they live? Uh, they live in the castle. Hmm. Uh, like, well, they question well, oh, oh, the, the, with the... The workers. Like, the workers, oh. Any new ones coming in oh, yeah. from the city? They have, they have their own houses outside of the castle. Okay. Are there still you speak orcish too, don't you, Corey? I, I do. Uh, are there still stores? Like, would they order like meat from a butcher's for the event? Yeah. Yeah, they would. Well, then let's go find ourselves a butcher. We have plenty of jerky. 
<laughs> we do. Maybe they like turkey. So you're saying disguise ourselves, go into the butcher's shop, saying we've been sent from the castle, buy this meat, and then deliver it? Uh, well, I was more thinking we just knock well, out and tie up the butcher and <laughs> <laughs> I mean I, su well, I suppose we could I suppose we could pretend to be from the castle but I was thinking the other way we pretend to be the delivery people for the butcher no I quite, I quite like that more <laughs> he could be an alibi if they question him like if anyone well, they, came to buy meat they won't be left alive when we're done so there won't be anybody to question him <laughs> because I was like, okay, wait, so th you guys are thinking of taking some outfits to dress up, going to a butcher, uh, buying food to deliver to the ball event, and then waiting in the ballroom until the gallon change and kind of following you in there? No. No. Knock out the butcher, take the clothes <laughs> there, take the meat there, take the cart there, then go to the castle tell them it's a delivery, and then once we're in the castle, we go hunting. Mm. I think they like steamed hams. Mmm, steamed hams. Reference. I think that's a good idea, to be honest. Of all our options. We're not going to look out of place. We might have to stealth up the stairs a little bit, but not if we're delivering. But do we need to knock out a butcher? I mean... Oh, you mean inside? Yeah, inside. Once we get inside, we'll have to go yeah. stealthy. This seems familiar. I think we took a castle once before from the kitchen. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> they were cooking up a plan. I, I think this might be, <laughs> might be our MO for castle sieges. Uh, we might want to be careful. <laughs> I mean, there isn't a need to knock out the butcher there. We could just save her from the castle. We wouldn't question. But is he going to give us delivery clothes and his I'm cart? And I'm um... still dealing with crap. I'm still yeah, here, though. Um... Would he have delivery clothes? That's it. Do you need me for anything? I, I'm probably back out of five, ten minutes, but uh, do you guys need me in for whatever the conversation is right now? Uh, no, no, it's, it's flowing really well, actually. It's flowing really well. It's not just you talking. We went from <laughs> entering the <laughs> Thanks for it. Uh, sneaking in as workers with the kitchen. Sounds good. Um, I mean, could we get the clothes first? It's, or well, would the butcher have the clothes for delivery? I assume he'd have some kind of clothing for his workers, right? I mean... What if he doesn't hire halflings or gnomes? Okay, what oh, if we poison right. the butcher, though? <laughs> Can we just poison the whole city? Just be done with the whole city. I mean, if that's how you want to go, I guess I'm fine with that. Everyone's got to be guilty of something. Just get them all at once. We'll just be like plagues hit the city. Hey, what about Fasnar? Do you have access to workmen's clothes that we could uh, dress these everybody up before we go? I still think knocking out the butcher might be a good idea. Didn't he <laughs> oh. mention to us? Well, no, hear me out. Didn't he mention to us that these shopkeepers, uh, they're on the, the good side of the city, so they're probably going to run to guards if they notice anything off. Right. We had to disguise ourselves when we went into the mask shop. So that they wouldn't go running and telling the guards. Would there be other shops nearby that would check in on the butcher or notice that you'd be missing? Would they, though? I mean. I don't know. They'd like check up on each other or just talk. <laughs> like, lights were out. It's like, oh. We're I'd leave the out. lights on. Can you major image the butcher <laughs> behind the counter? Maybe they just it's figure he's making a delivery to the castle. Yeah. Just give him like a knife and just have him chop, chop, chop. <laughs> <laughs> Same piece of meat, just on the chopping board. Just... It's not like we're gonna kill him. We're just gonna, you know, knock him out and then probably go to his bedroom, tie him up with his manacles, and then leave. If anyone asks, it was just a rough night last night. Things got out of control. 
as a role play on one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do we have any manacles? Do you have any left? <laughs> I have lots of rope. <laughs> I might do. I might have to ask Snow when he gets back if we have any manacles in the back of holding. Uh, Time to his bedpost. Did we get rid of the ones we had when we were in the uh, drow city? I don't think we did. So, Fasnar, how how do the sleeves work in the... I mean, do they wear chains? Do they wear a collar? A pin? What marks them as a slave? Uh, usually chain, chains are a collar. All right, so do or you both. have... Do you have a couple of sets of those? <laughs> I, I have a couple. Okay. I don't know if I have enough for all of you. Well, uh, actually, I think I think you guys did have one, didn't you? you well, had, like... some of us could be invisible as well. Well, we don't. No, no, no. The yeah, butchers. Like... The, the butchers gonna have normal workers, right? Not they're not all gonna be slaves. Yeah. So only, only those most likely to be a slave will need to pretend to be a slave. So Hanok and OGS basically. Right. But once once we do get in, I could still try a distraction if I change into like an entertainer outfit and go to the ballroom and entertain them. Yeah. If we need it. What exactly. about Drostan? Are we gonna leave him here now if if we're doing this? Hmm. Cause it... <laughs> Putting a dog in chains is not going to give him away as a slave. It's still a <laughs> right. dog. Right. So it's either going to be invisible or not go. What if we put our pieces in whichever, I guess, straight easiest? Or wherever we're going first? Well, we're going to sneak into the kitchen, right? That's yeah. the idea. Or make a delivery. Are we going to the front door to make the delivery? There's probably a delivery entrance, I would assume. Right. Are there probably any other doors in. through the castle? Is Fasnar, gonna... you know a lot about this castle. Is there a delivery entrance? There is, yeah, on the right side. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, we'll go there then. There's no wall, so we could just walk right up to the delivery entrance. I assume there's a path right to it. Right. With our like packs of meat from our knocked out butcher friend. <laughs> <laughs> and we, you have. Workman's clothes for us. I have a couple of those. Uh, how many do you need? How many of us are there? The aren't going to be in chains. Three, five. Well, the the slaves will need them too. Can't just go in in our normal clothes. Uh, I guess that's true. We don't need workman clothes though for them, right? We could put them in slaves' clothes, rags or whatever. I don't know what the difference would be. It's pretty cold here, so I assume everybody's got to wrap up. I just right. kind of want to see Hanok in rags, to be honest. <laughs> From what you saw, the people in the northern half of the city, actually, uh, they weren't wearing any sort of heavy clothing or anything. Oh, it's only in the southern part of the city that's cold? No, it, it was cold to build. Oh. They just walk around ignoring the cold? <sighs> I had a huge black spike, but I'm back. Yeah, it's it's cold in cold in both regions, north and south. Uh, I think this is a good first attempt, and then if it fails, we still have the ball. <laughs> if this fails, we're dead. So, <laughs> it'd be on even higher alert. Well. If this feels, a lot of them will be dead. I don't plan to be in dead, so. But is she? Do you know where she is before the ball? Oh, she was no somewhere in the castle. She said she never leaves. The she two of them the might castle. even be together in their bedroom. You said it's about six a.m., right? So they might even still be sleeping right now. Uh, right now it's about seven. Seven. They might still be sleeping right now. Might get two of them together, and then if we could get in there, shut the door, silence, then <laughs> it'll be a happy fun time. Not just for them. 
Do you know the name of a butcher in the northern section? Uh, there's, there's one near, uh, about a mile off from the, the mass shop. Uh, I believe his name is Samuel. Okay. All right, well, we can go knock him out then. Well, just, uh... <laughs> Right Still now. some meat. If anybody, if anybody stops us and asks, I feel like it'd be better if we had a name, uh, you know, than just like, oh, we work for the butcher. <laughs> the butcher. What's his shop called? The meat for the butcher. I don't think he, I don't remember his store's name. Do you know that he's the butcher in the <laughs> town? <laughs> the only butcher. He is the butcher to go to. I do don't know, know the name of this shop. Do you know anybody here that might know the name of the shop? I'm sure there's someone in the northern half that would know. Not in the northern half, in your little group here. What about your wife? Does she know? <laughs> she, she shakes her head no. <laughs> is there anybody else here, or is it just these two? At the moment, this early, it's just them two. Who else is in your rebellion here? How many of them is there? Uh, we're about 300. Somebody has to know the name of the butcher in 300. I'm sure there is. Where do they all I sleep? So. All over the city? This is like the wall. On the... Do they sleep all over the city or are they all sleeping in your little tavern here? Uh, we have a couple of sleep here. Okay. Are they, where are they? Up, upstairs asleep. Okay, well, can you go and ask them if they know the name of the butchers? Just, uh... <laughs> he sighs and goes upstairs to hey, wake this is someone important. up. If you want this woman assassinated, you'll help us. Uh, it takes a couple minutes uh, <clears throat> before heading back down. You think the butcher's name is Butch? It's Samuel. We just don't know the name of his store. Uh, he, like I said, it's about a mile off from... Fine and various. <laughs> Thank you, Fasno. Yeah. <laughs> F and V meets. Fine F and V. And various meets. I'm still not happy with this drawing. Did you uh, bring us the workman clothes? And the yeah, he gave them to you guys. Okay. V meets. Uh... This isn't going to fit over my armor, is it? Nope. It's uh, it's basically like regular clothing. Mm, yeah, because you're going to have to get changed, and that takes you like 10 minutes, right? And you wouldn't really be able to do that in the castle. Right. Well, I will do it in the castle, just I don't know when I'll be able to do it in the castle. Do bards have an advantage on costume changes? <laughs> For... Like scenes and stuff. I don't think so. Uh, What's we made out of livery? Like, I guess. Well, I have like a. I think I have actor. Yeah, I have the oh, feet yeah. for it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I you would. Because that mimicry and dramatics, you gain the following benefits. So, so. Yeah, you can make yourself look completely different than how how you are. Well, I mean, like, would I change faster than all, like for costumes and stuff? Yeah, sure. Especially with your small size. Um, we could try and find like a little wardrobe or something to duck into and change. For, uh, the walk-in fridge. For like marching band, we had to wear our tuxedo underneath our marching outfit for something at school. So it'd be easy to take off the outer outfit to have both like be able to switch easily. But that'd be pretty hot if we're like, having to a servant and a entertainer outfit for me. <laughs> uh, all right, Double well, layered. I'm gonna, uh, I guess, put my stuff in the bag of holding. Okay. You should probably at least carry like a dagger or something hidden yeah, on you, yeah, just yeah. so that you've got something. I'll carry a dagger. I'm sure, that's have really. One? I do. Do you think the cart, we could hide stuff on the cart? 
like if it had like the cloth over it. What if they check it? They're probably gonna check it. Can you make the car invisible? Oh, it's greater invisibility. That's just <laughs> creatures. Yeah. Why are we hiding the car? I mean, I don't know if we had like, a second cart or. I don't think I have a dagger. I might have to roll with hiding a crowbar somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you a dagger. Oh, thank you. I don't. Hide along and under reef here. I think I've somewhere. only got one dagger, so. Yeah. It's part of my starting equipment, so. I. Uh, Kept one I just to checked throw. back in, so if you guys could catch me up to speed, I'd appreciate it. Uh, we're going to sneak in as uh, help Sorry. for a butcher. We're going to deliver some meat. Okay. Right we're not going to wait until the ball. We're going to do it before the ball. Okay. Does, do anyone want to go invisible, or are we just going to all try to go in under disguise? Uh, I think the plan is, well, you need to invis oh. uh, draw stand, but... I think everybody else is going in disguise. We've got to knock the butcher out. And do you have the manacle still, Hanok? Yeah. Okay, we can manacle him up then in the uh, in his bedroom, I guess. Manacle who? The butcher. Oh. I mean, I could maybe if you wanted to make sure you're in the master bedroom, I could. Um, like make you invisible, Corian, since you'd be the best choice out of us to deal with her. She All didn't. Right. Uh, or maybe you know, deal with her quickly. Like once we get up to the castle, if you needed to sneak up there. I don't know how sneaky we're going to be once we get to the castle. I mean, you could sneak through if you were invisible. We've hit a dead end. <laughs> I think we're, we're now in the castle. Now we've just got to actually do the execution part now. Sorry, he's getting into the bedroom. Well, that's the. Well, we I don't, we don't need the bedroom because we're going early enough that they're probably just awake, wandering around, telling people what to do. Maybe. And then once we see her, we know we could do it in the master bedroom. But they won't or have. Some. They won't have as heavy of security, I would assume, as they will tonight. And I, I wouldn't think so. And there'll be less people, because the guests won't be there. Is there, like, a schedule of cars? Schedule what? Of where the guards would be? Like, before the ball, or during the ball, or... Uh, what are you looking for for and uh, before, from his experience, uh, most of them are in the northern district and the castle. Um, during the event, most of them um, are in the castle area. Yeah, so we're going to have way more to deal with. The only risk with this plan is that if we do see them out in the open and we go for them right there, that potentially going to have the two of them and the six elites and then the casual grunts that are left over and word will spread. Word will spread whatever we do. Yeah. Well, I think it's a good plan. So it's good as we know we're making. <laughs> yeah. Have like a wait, can we use one of these? Oh. The only thing we've got to figure out now is how we're going to get back into our proper gear when we get in. Uh, it will take me 10 minutes. <laughs> gonna have to put you somewhere for 10 minutes so you can get changed.
Does the text go with these? You have to lock these to effectuate, yeah? Yeah. On text doesn't. Are you writing down our plan? I was trying to, yeah. <laughs> So I guess step one is to kill the meat. Yep. And manacle up the knocked out butcher. All right, I think I'm back, hopefully. Right on time. All right, so do you need me to do anything in this plan, or am I just following along while you guys knock this guy out? Uh, well, you need to invis draw stand. If, All right. If you'd prefer to save your spell slot, I can leave him here. Yeah, I don't know how much use is really No, good. it's a level two spell. It's fine. When we get close to the castle, I'll turn him invisible. <laughs> well, he'll need to go invisible before we... All right, then... Whenever, whenever we need to, I start the invisibility. It just it lasts for an hour, so just let me know when it's getting close to being an hour, Hayden. Okay. What's his name again? Samuel. Of oh, fine meats. Yes. Various Some fine meats. Fine. Yeah. Fine and various meats. So we're ready to go then? I think so. Uh, what were we doing with Fasnar? Is he coming with us or is he waiting somewhere? I don't know. Ask him. <laughs> Fasnar, what are you doing? Oh, well, this, this is you guys' plan that you can decide whatever you wish to do with me. Uh, Where would you want me? Well, if you could organize some kind of escape, that might be good. And to let your fi freedom fighter movement know that things are going to be mobilized soon and get ready to wage war on the streets with the orc grunts that are surely eventually going to know and then want to try and find us. All right. You know, we could always, uh, when we get into the kitchen, knock out the kitchen staff and tie them up and then get their outfits. <laughs> then we could change and no one would suspect a thing. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of padding. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a charter, It's going to be like a breadcrumbs of bodies just to find. They might, have some, they might have some big stew pots. <laughs> Maybe there's a root cellar. It's so hard to do with when they're overlaying. <laughs> Where is Hole when you need him? <laughs> he knew what to do. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, I guess. Uh we go then uh those of you that need to put on your slave gear put on your slave gear do i need to be in slave gear then yeah i'm changing it to work clothes i guess yeah so do i just it, am i wearing my normal clothes with manacles or <laughs> no we got slave gear for you you're Faz gonna be in rags fasnar had some uh, I'll carry the uh, bag of holding. Oh, let me get the cards. This, this is just <laughs> not working. Bye bye. And uh, 
So everybody that's pretty much everybody's got to dump their stuff in the bag of holding, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess not everybody, but anybody that's wearing any kind of gear that's going to show through their disguise. Question. Does haste affect the speed at which you can put armor on? <laughs> Is that only like movement speed? Haste, haste only lasts like a minute, so... <laughs> it might if that reduce the time it takes me to put your armor on from 10 minutes to 5. <laughs> well, it would reduce it to 8. Because uh, the one minute would be twice as fast. <laughs> <laughs> you get on your boots really quickly. <laughs> uh, I figure I would just wear my boots. I think just the armor isn't going to be able to be disguised. Is this a good operation name? Operation Meaty Delivery. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of something like meat insertion, but uh mm. you deal with Samuel of fun various <laughs> means. You want that so nicely. You're just going to convince him to take a nap. <laughs> so you're uh so you're good then, Fasnar. You you understand what we're doing? Yes. Okay. He's got no idea what we're doing. It's okay, I have no <laughs> idea what he's doing, so uh, I don't even think he knows what he's doing to be honest. Uh, this is this is definitely more people we're than we're used to dealing with when it comes to overthrowing <laughs> a kingdom. So, um, <laughs> all right, well, let's go. Uh, so we'll uh, put our gear and head out the door and head north toward uh, Samuel's. Averus, are you with me? Mm-hmm. I take Averus's hand. Hold it tight. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.